Kids Church Online, we're so happy you're here. I'm Sabrina and this week I've really been enjoying the warm sunny days. It really feels like summer's coming and I don't know about you but I'm super excited. Today we'll be looking at how Jesus will come back just as he promised so we must live for him while we wait. Now we'll be hearing from the Kids Church Band so let's all stand up and sing.
Do you want to do something fun today? Oh, that sounds really fun. Okay, great. I'm going to need you to bring a towel. Do you reckon you can do that? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll bring one. Yeah, no worries. All right, see you soon. Okay, cool. See you soon. Bye. Um, there's not really room for it. Oh, well, it's probably not that important. <laughs> The next thing I need you to do is get some sunscreen for us. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, wait patiently here. I've got to go get something, and when I come back, get the sunscreen for us. Awesome. I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. Okay, Ellen, I'm back. Are you ready to go? Yeah. The last thing I need you to do is get us a surfboard. Do you think you could do that for us? Yeah, sure. Okay, I need to go and grab something else, but I need you to wait here patiently and get us a surfboard. I'll see you soon. Sure. Kind of expensive. I don't think I'm going to do that. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Andy. Did you bring all the stuff I asked for? You know, the sunscreen, the towel, the surfboard? Uh, I'm, I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. But our fun day was actually a beach day. Oh no. Hi, my name's Joe, and I'm gonna be reading the Bible for you today. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. Above all, Love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Other hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administrating God's grace in its various forms. Hey kids, and welcome to another week of Kids Church. Now today, I've got a question for you. What is love? Love is all around us, we hear it all the time, but I'm wondering, what is it? See, in that Bible reading we just heard, we were told to love others above all else. So what do we think it is? Is love speaking? Is love thinking? Or is love doing? I think it's doing. Love is not just speaking, it's not just thinking, it's actually doing something. It's getting on our feet and loving other people. Now, who can you think of someone you know that has shown you love? And think of how they've shown it to you. Maybe it's your parents. Or maybe it's your brother or your sister. Love is not just speaking. And it's not just thinking. It's actually doing something for other people. Jesus actually said that what he did was the greatest gift of love for all everyone of all time. Now, who here has ever received a gift which has made them really excited or thinks they've received one of the best gifts ever? Okay, well, let me tell you about one of the gifts I've received. When I was about eight years old, me and my sister for Christmas got a new trampoline. And I used to spend hours on the trampoline. I loved the trampoline. But God actually offers us a far greater gift than my trampoline or any of the gifts you've received for Christmas or your birthday. The gift of Jesus. Because Jesus came down and he offered us forgiveness. He offered us grace. Now, let me tell you more about my trampoline. One day, a few years after I'd gotten it, I was jumping and I jumped really high and I was flying up. And I fell off the trampoline and I actually broke my arm. I went to the hospital and uh, I got a cast and a few weeks later, I was okay. Who here has ever broken any bones? Okay. Well, God's gift to us not only heals our brokenness, brokenness, but it also gives us the opportunity to help others and show God's love for them. Now here I have a drawing of a person and what we're going to do is we're going to colour him in. Now years and years ago there was a very smart Greek man and he told us that there's actually four types of love. So there is uh, 
family love, so the love your parents have for you. There is friendship love, which you and your friends have between each other, between your friends at school and your friends at church. And there's also romantic love, so the love between maybe a husband and his wife, or a boyfriend and their girl and his girlfriend. So what what I think we should do is we should colour him in with all the different types of loves we've heard. So what we're going to do is we're going to colour him in with family love, with friendship love, and then romantic love. And let's see what he looks like. So let's put a bit of friendship love into our little man. Does he look good? Let's try some... Uh, oh, family love here. Oh, that's not a very good pen. Let's keep going though. Let's try a different colour. And we'll finish him off with romantic love. So mum and dad. And we'll top him off. Again, with a, a bit of family love. So we have our family love, our friendship love, and our romantic love. Now, who here can tell me what seems to be missing? Do you think our man looks complete? I don't think so either. I think he's missing something. So there's four types of love, but we've only checked off three of them. Family, friends, and loved ones. So what could possibly be missing? Well, let's see. Let's have a look here. I think he looks a bit more complete now. Who thinks so too? Well, the amazing thing about God's love is that that it completely fills us. It completes us. See, we can have the best friends, the best family, and also uh, the best loved ones and the best husbands and the best wives, but it still won't fill us deep down inside. So what do we need to know? You need to know that you're loved by God. God loves you, and you know that because Jesus said so. Jesus came down on the cross and he died for you. And he showed us what true love is. So that means that we can go and therefore love others. And that's what Peter was telling us today. You are loved by God and therefore you don't need to worry about what others think of you. But instead you can rest and you know that God loves you so much. So how do we show this to others? Well, God's given you love. So therefore you can give love to other people. So why don't we try this week? Maybe if there's someone in your classroom who is a bit lonely, maybe you can sit and talk to them. Or how about you be polite to your teachers and talk nicely to other people? There's lots of different ways we can show love to others. Maybe we can simply talk to others and just show them that we care about them because you know that you're cared for. So let's try this week to remember that we are deeply loved and therefore we can love others. But most importantly, remember to love God first because he's shown us love first. In the Apostle John told us in the Bible that you are loved and therefore we can love others. Jesus is coming back and he's coming back very soon. The Bible says, be ready and keep watch. So let's be ready this week and uh, be loving other people. Hi guys, I'm Milo and today I'm going to be praying for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the fells. We thank you that, that they're so keen for people to know you on Norfolk Island. We pray that people on the island will see Jesus when they spend time with the fells. We pray that through the teaching of the good news about Jesus, many children and grown-ups will put their trust in you. We pray that as I learn from the book of Romans, many will say sorry for their sins and follow Jesus. Amen. Hi, I'm Luke and I'm going to pray for you today. 
Dear God, we pray for the Fell family who are really looking forward to a holiday next school holidays. We pray that you may make it possible for them to come back to the mainland to get some much needed rest. In the meantime, we pray that you will help them to find some time to rest and time to play and time to have fun together as a family. Amen. He's a rock, all his words are true. He's a rock, what he says he'll do. He's a rock, he's a rock, his love will never slip away. He's a rock, you can trust in him. He's a rock, for his love stands firm. He's a rock, he's a rock, his love will never slip away. foolish man who trusted in the slip and slide and sand. He needed a rock that would see him through. Jesus is the rock and he's there for you. He's a rock. All his words are true. He's a rock. What he says he'll do. He's a rock. He's a rock. His love will never slip away. He's a rock. You can trust in him. His love stands firm. He's a rock, he's a rock. His love will never slip away. Don't be like that silly, foolish man who trusted in the slide and slip and sand. He needed a rock just to see him through. Jesus is the rock, and he's there for you. He's a rock. of how Jesus will come back one day, just as he promised. What hope we have in that. It was super fun to have you all here with us this week. Hope to see you again next time. Bye guys.